Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates, and as you can see we are starting with an update of Big Remy. At 3 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, actually this photo was taken last week as Big Remy says, so 4 weeks out of Arnold. So as you can see, Chad Nichols, who is Big Remy's coach, posted this and he's saying... I found this pic of Big Remy. Can anybody tell me what year this was taken? This is the look we are shooting for at the Arnold this year. And in the comment section, as you can see, Big Remy replies, I think last week, lol. So this is what Big Remy is looking like right now. After he has done the stem cell treatment, after he practiced his posing. And if you go over the comments, there is a lot of them. Chad replied to many of them. What Chad Nichols is saying basically is that Big Remy will see serious progress from the stem cells. In about 6 months or so, his nerve damage will regenerate. But what you're seeing right now, if he made any progress... It's not just because of stem cell treatment, it's because the other factors. Uh, what Chad also said is that everything went wrong for the Olympia and also that Big Ram is practicing posing more now. Now, let's focus on this update and on his back and on his triceps and biceps, the problems that he had on the Mr. Olympia stage. Did he improve these things? I don't know, man. I, I, I don't see it really like super improved. Maybe it's a little bit better, maybe his posing is a little bit better, but overall it's pretty much the same story. I mean, you tell me, take a look at this. The photo on the right is obviously him at the Olympia and the photo on the left is current. So I don't think he really improved his lower lats too much, really. And I think his upper back looks more shallow now than it did at the Mr. Olympia. I think his posing is better, he opened up his lats a little bit more, but I think it's pretty much the same thing. As far as I can see, there are no significant improvements. As far as posing, yeah, he opened up a little bit more, but as far as lat development, lat atrophy, it's pretty much the same thing. And it wasn't only lats that were the problem at the Mr. Olympia, there were other muscles, like, for example, as you can see in this photo as well, triceps. Do his triceps look fuller? No, not really. Look, I mean, Big Remy was never really known for having the best back. That was always his weakness. But here is what his back looked like when it was fresh. I think this is 2017 Mr. Olympia or somewhere around that time, like 6, 7, 8 years ago. So at this point he was fresh and as you can see his lower lats were far better. They were more developed, more visible, more prominent. Uh, his lower back spinal erectors weren't jumping out like crazy and you could see lats in his lower back. Also the triceps were just much rounder, much fuller and that's only talking about the back. So his back, even though it was always his weakest point, it was far better back in the day. And right now, it doesn't look very good, it looks much more narrow, his a lower half of the back is all spinal erectors, there is nothing there, no lats. Upper back also lost the width and the triceps became shorter and much less full and I think something is going on with the biceps as well, so... There are simply too many things wrong about Big Ramy's physique that I don't think he can fix in a couple of months, actually three months, you know, from the Mr. Olympia to Arnold. Uh, and we just saw his back. And you can argue that his back looks better. I don't see it. I think it looks just the same. But if Chad Nichols is saying that his back looks improved, what about the other body parts like his quads that were a complete mess? What about those bumps in his quads and in his glutes? Where are his calves gone? What about the forearms? What about the arms? What about the washed out abs? I mean, I know I'm being a little bit too harsh on Big Ramy right now. I am a fan of Big Ramy. He's like the most modest Mr. Olympia of all time. Such a humble guy. You cannot dislike this guy. But if we're being honest right now, how well will he do at the Arnold Classic? There is no chance I can imagine this guy beating Nick Walker, William Bonek, Andrew Jack, Samson Dauda, and even Sean Clarida. So that's five guys which leaves Big Remy in 6th, and that's assuming he beats Justin and Akeem and all the other guys, 
So if Big Remy brings his 100%, Chris Asito said something very interesting on RX Muscle podcast with uh, Dave Palombo. He said that the reason why Big Remy's physique looked so wrong was simply because he was totally off and that he always had the same problems. It was only about peaking. So he wasn't full enough, he wasn't conditioned enough or whatever, he didn't peak properly and that's why all of his flaws were exposed. So let's assume he brings his absolute best as far as peaking. Let's say in 3 weeks from now he is completely shredded and he is completely full and fresh and he doesn't have those bumps from, I'm guessing from injections in his glutes and his quads and everything is just fine, will this atrophy in his lats and triceps, probably biceps, calves too, and whatever is going on with his quads, will all that be just gone because he now peaked properly and is it gonna be enough for him to place higher than 5th or 6th if he peaks properly? Be my guest, guys. Tell me down below in the comment section what do you think. Me, personally, based on all the updates that I saw from the other guys, I do not see Big Remy placing higher than 6th. I think 6th at the Arnold Classic is what's gonna be the outcome based on what I'm seeing right here. I do not think Big Remy improved his uh, lat atrophy or whatever, nerve damage, whatever is going on. His back looks just the same and I don't think we signed him off too early just because of one bad addition. I think Big Remy's career is over. Uh, I don't think he's gonna come back and look just as good as he always was. I think he's done. I know it's harsh, but I'm just being brutally honest, that's exactly what I think. So guys, you can tell me down below your thoughts. And now let's move on to the next update, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I said who are the guys that are gonna place higher than Big Remy, I said first Nick Walker and second, I did not say Samson, I did not say Andrew, I did not say Sean Clarida, I actually said William Bonek. Was that by accident? I don't think so. That is because I just saw William Bonek's most recent update. Now, William Bonek is somebody who was completely off at the Mr. Olympia, who did not peak properly, and I think that is the sole reason why he placed so low. Big Remy, complete different story. So many other things were wrong aside from peaking. William Bonek, I think his physique still looks very fresh. I don't think any of his muscles atrophied, at some point he had some problems with his quads but that was because of an injury and as you can see right now his quads are looking super full and round and huge and just overall I don't see any nerve damage or bumps in, in quads and glutes or wherever. I don't think there are any issues with his physique, he had gyno, he got it removed so he looks totally fresh. And in this most recent update, at three weeks out, damn, he looks good. He looks really freaking on, right? I don't know if it's just the lighting or an angle or something like that, but based on what I'm seeing right here, wow, I think this looks, this is the most impressive update from all the competitors doing the Arnold Classic that I saw so far. So based on this, now this is not too much to base anything on, but based on these photos, I mean, he looks like he's the favorite to win the show, because he looks really freaking amazing. Like, look at the fullness in the arms, in the shoulders, in the legs, in the chest, everywhere. And this guy won the Arnold Classic twice, guys. He won it twice. Look at the back. Look at the freaking back. Look at how wide it is. Look at how thick those freaking lats are. I think we are about to see the best William Bonac we ever saw. And yeah, again, I know I'm basing this on one freaking update, so it doesn't have to mean much, but from what I'm seeing right here, it really looks good. Look at the back double, look at the back double, look at the details in the back, look at the density, the thickness, I mean, look at the shoulders, the arms, and the conditioning, look at the glutes. So this guy is really freaking on. Honestly, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that he looks like this. I don't know, I think this looks better than Nick Walker right now. I mean, it's different lighting from what Nick is posting, but seriously, guys, look at this. This is really freaking good. And it's interesting that uh, William Bonac actually did all the poses like Nick Walker is doing. And he also did a quarter turns even. So you can compare him to Nick Walker, which I'm gonna do in a second. So basically, once again, 
from what I'm seeing, I think it looks like he is actually bringing it, like seriously bringing it. Interestingly enough, both of these guys, William Bonac and Big Remy, are coached by the same coach, Chad Nichols, and if we assume that they were both off at the Mr. Olympia, of course it has to do with their coach. So maybe Chad Nichols lost it, maybe he doesn't have it anymore, maybe he's too old, maybe he has too much going on in his life, maybe these guys should consider changing a coach, I don't know, we'll see what he's gonna do with them for the Arnold, I mean, they want the redemption, so I know the athletes are driven and they will do whatever Chad says, I think it's all about how good of a coaching job Chad does for the Arnold, at this point, William Bonac does look very, very good, I mean, look at his side chest, Look at this freaking madness, like look at the chest, how full and separated it is, and like look at all the details in the shoulders, in the arms, even that side leg, I don't think William Bonac ever looked this big, and with this conditioning, whatever he's doing, it's working. Anyways, I found this comparison on who is the best bodybuilder Instagram page, so I'm gonna use these photos uh, in which you can compare Nick Walker, actually, to William Bonac, and right now you're looking at Nick's best pose most muscular who looks better here who is the better bodybuilder here uh, again i don't know if it is just lighting the angle maybe nick is depleted and bonak had a high carb day or something like that but based on what i'm seeing right here honestly guys for me personally bonak looks better look at the shoulders and the arms and the chest just overall fullness also the legs his legs, Bonac's legs are popping more, the, the, the lateral head is popping more, the same thing is happening with the arms and shoulders and chest, overall the conditioning is pretty comparable, but I think Bonac is just bigger and fuller and rounder right now. Side chest, one of Nick's best poses, let's say Nick has him in this one, but I don't know about the chest though, I think Bonac's chest looks better. In this quarter turn, I have Bonac, he looks thicker, he looks bigger, look at the biceps, look at the shoulders, look at the chest, and the quads, and the glutes, the midsection, the waistline is pretty similar, but overall, I have Bonac, again, I don't know, maybe it's the angle, maybe it's the lighting, but in these photos, and this is just what I'm seeing right now, Bonac looks better. Let's take a look at their backs, I don't think this one is even funny, I just left it for the end because of that reason, because Bonac destroys him in this one. Now you guys can tell me if you think this is just the lighting, or it's maybe because Nick is flat, or it's something else entirely, or you actually think Nick looks better, but I don't know if you can think that, I mean look at the lower back thickness, look at the shoulders, look at the traps, look at the thickness in those freaking traps and the rhomboids, and, and the glutes, and overall the leg thickness, the size of the legs, I don't know man, we still have to wait and see what this looks like on stage actually, but based on what I'm seeing right now, I'm under the impression that Bonac is bringing something serious, I think he's bringing his absolute best, and it might very well be his third Arnold Classic victory, I won't be too surprised, what do you guys think, do you think William Bonac is done? or he can actually come back and win it once again for the third time, whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, next we have a little update, let's say a leg and conditioning update of the second place Mr. Olympia finisher Derek Lansford, now Derek was, like one of his weaknesses were definitely his legs, his quads in particular, when he started his career, when he was much younger, his legs were really freaking small, but he grew them, however, even at this year's Mr. Olympia, they weren't that good, they weren't big enough compared to everything else, and now, it's been two months since the Mr. Olympia, and it seems like he's actually improving them, this, of course, was Derek at the Mr. Olympia, where he placed second, now, I don't wanna say his, his legs are bad, his legs are small, they are not, but compared to his enormous upper body, to his enormous back, to his huge, huge lats, and overall, his, oh, his overall upper body is just bigger than his legs, and I wouldn't say the same thing about his legs in the side poses, like he has the thickness, and also his glutes are pretty good, his hamstrings too, but he lacks just, especially from the front, he lacks that, uh, that size in the quads, 
So that's something he needs to work on if he wants to win the Mr. Olympia. I mean, he has better legs than majority of the guys at the Mr. Olympia, but compared to Hari Chopin, who placed first at the Mr. Olympia, his legs are not that good. Look at Hadi's legs, man. Look at Hadi's quads and just the overall thickness of the legs, like that inner part. Look at how his adductors are completely connected. Like, these are big legs. And if Derek wants to win that Mr. Olympia, that is definitely something he needs to work on. And based on this quick little leg update, we can see that his legs did come up in size. I think so. It's been how many? Like two months or so since the Mr. Olympia. And he has been training his legs a lot, like really hard. You can see it in his YouTube videos, in his Instagram videos. So he's definitely training those legs really hard and he had a good rebound obviously so his legs do look really big and full right now and if he keeps it at this pace I'm sure his legs are gonna be his one of his one of his good body parts I don't think they're gonna be a weakness anymore at Mr. Olympia if everything goes well for him. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, tell me down below, especially what do you think about Big Ram in his back, do you think it improved at all, and where do you think he's gonna place the Arnold Classic, and also what do you think about William Bonac and his most recent physique update. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best guys, and bye bye.